Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again and in this video I'm going to talk about a very interesting Excel trick that will allow you to sort your months in the financial year order and not the calendar year. And I've been making a lot of videos about DAX, Power Query, Power BI, that sort of stuff but I thought it would be a nice change to make a little video on an Excel trick that will be very very helpful. So just take a look and hopefully you'll enjoy this. So I have written all the months right here in the spreadsheet right from April until March. This is the correct order that we follow in India. So we start with April and we end in March. Once I have written that what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these months as a default sort order inside my Excel. So what do I do after I've written this I'm just going to go to the file I'm just going to go to the options right here over there I am just going to go over to the advanced and right here I'm just going to scroll down right at the bottom and come to edit custom list right I can just click here and this opens up that how would you like to sort your data if you have a custom order and I can maybe just click here and import all of this order this is the order that I'd like to have I click on import and I click on add and that gets added right into my Excel now I've already added that so you didn't see that happening but yeah I um, mean in case you're doing it for the first time you can actually add this to your Excel so I have just done that I'm just gonna close it say okay now this sort order has been placed into my Excel like forever till the time maybe I reinstall it or something all right so that has been done now let's just take a look at the application of this sort order so perhaps I just go to sheet 2 which is where I have some data and also a column called date here maybe I'm just gonna add a column here real quick and I'm just gonna say that this is my month right and I'm just gonna use the text function and extract the month out of it so 3m press enter drag it down right now let's just maybe create a slicer on top of this and let's just see that if the slicer gets sorted in the calendar year or the fiscal year so I'm just gonna click on this little table the column table design tab and insert a slicer and slicer of course on the month say okay and let's just see oh this is beautiful so we got the slicer uh, sorted in the order of the financial year months and not the calendar year months let's just see that in case we end up deleting this and I create a pivot table from this and I use the date column to group my dates into months and sort of that stuff let's just see what kind of months do we get do we get sorted in the calendar year or fiscal year so I'm just gonna maybe real quick make a pivot table and drag my date to the rows and just remove the year just remove the quarter let me just also zoom in all right so you can see that certainly my months are not sorted in the order that I wanted so I want it from a April to March and they're certainly not sorted in this way but nothing to worry about by default when you drag a date column to your rows or columns it will sort it in the calendar year but what you can do is you can just click on the filter on the top and change the sorting in the oldest to newest which is the ascending order and you will have the correct sorting April to March I hope you found this useful if you did not know this trick you can just give me your kudos if you knew this trick I give you a kudos thank you so much for watching this guys and I'll catch you guys in the next one bye